Welcome to our video series on improving your copywriting. In this video, we'll offer an overview of getting more responses from your written copy. In this video set, I'll be talking through how to benefit more, how to profit more in your business, and more specifically your website, with copywriting. What this video set isn't is an all questions answered copywriting course because that's beyond the scope of these videos and there are many products and even websites that offer great information on copywriting. So if you're new to the subject or you're interested in really getting into the nitty gritty of the subject, then there are many good courses for that. So what these videos will focus on will be how to take any copy you're already creating and make it a lot more responsive. For example, if you've written a letter which you're sending to people to, let's say, get leads for your business, what I'll be talking through in these videos will be several ways to make your copy even more responsive so you get more leads from the same number of letters mailed out. Let's say you mail out a thousand letters and you're initially getting a 1% response, so you're getting 10 leads. Hopefully, by applying some of the tactics I'll be showing you, you can bump that up to where a thousand letters will bring you who knows, perhaps 2 or 3 or 5% response. So you get 20, 30, or 50 leads. So for the same amount of money spent, you'll be making a lot more, and that's really the point of copywriting. It's the presentation on the page, either the web page or the printed page or even an email, and the whole point is that you're truthfully, you aren't lying of course, but you're truthfully trying to win someone over who's interested or could be interested in purchasing your product or service or responding to your free offer. People say that copywriting is really your sales presentation in print, your presentation. The drawback is that you don't get feedback from the person who's reading it. Whereas in face-to-face -face sales or even telephone sales, you get feedback and you can respond and change your presentation according to what people are saying. You can't do that with a written word, of course. And that means you have to think of every possible objection beforehand and try to overcome those objections, and you have to be as clear as possible right from the start about exactly who you're writing to. So what I'll be talking you through is taking existing copy, or you can even apply these tactics to copy you haven't written yet, by just implementing them into your copywriting task and into the tasks of creating and reviewing and finalizing the copy. And of course, copy is never really finalized. You can always keep testing new headlines, for example, new offers, and keep incrementally improving it. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is that this set of videos takes new or existing copy and aims to make it a lot more powerful so, for the same expenditure, you get a more positive response. And when I say expenditure, I mean advertising expenditure, or the cost of sending out X number of letters to prospects, or the expense of buying Google AdWords to send traffic to your website. And what I'm going to be talking through can be applied to any sort of sales copy. Again, I say sales copy, but it's really any kind of copy or you're trying to convince someone to take the action you want. For example, it could be a small amount of copy, such as an AdWords ad, which is basically just two lines, or three lines if you include the headline. Or, of course, it could be an email, or a website selling a product or a service, or even a website trying to get leads for something as generic as mortgages, trying to get mortgage leads online. And as I already mentioned, it could be a letter, it could be a postcard. And even though writing for those different types and amounts of copy are different, you know that how you structure a postcard is going to be quite different from how you structure a letter, but the elements are largely the same. And you could say in a way that what goes in a postcard is what goes in a letter. But in the postcard, you're really condensing it quite a lot and just telegraphing really the most important points, the strongest points of your argument, so you can convince people in the fewest number of words. Whereas in a letter, of course, you can say a lot more and include all the necessary details. And generally, the less copy you're able to write, the less money you'll get from your sales target. So generally, with a postcard, you may just want to get leads or perhaps sell something for one or two dollars. 
Really, it's quite hard to sell from classifieds or postcards. So the less copy you're able to write, depending on the space, the less money you're likely to get. So a postcard, for example, can be just to get a lead. And then you can follow up on the lead with letters. As the saying goes, it's not my saying, but it's certainly often said in reference to copywriting, the more you tell, the more you sell. Of course, like every rule, there are exceptions. But basically, the point of that expression is, obviously, in a letter or on a website, you have the space. So basically, say as much as you can, or as much as it takes, to convince the person reading to respond to or take you up on your offer. Don't shorten your copy unnecessarily. Again, this isn't my saying, but it's often said that the only crime you must avoid in copywriting is being boring. It doesn't matter how long your copy is, but you don't want it to be boring. There are even letters that are 30 plus pages long selling seminars for several thousand dollars. And generally, you need a lot of copy to sell something that's that expensive. So you need to include every single detail, every single counter argument to objections, and so on. Again, you must avoid being boring in those examples. But if you choose to shorten, if you tell yourself, okay, I'm only going to send out a four-page letter to people whom I want to attend this $5,000 seminar, you're handicapping yourself massively. So don't shorten what you're saying just to keep the message shorter because if what you're saying is interesting and relevant to them, people will read it. You know, people read books, which are many hundreds of pages. People do read things that are of interest to them. And again, the crime is being boring. So you want to avoid boring copy, but don't shorten your copy unnecessarily. What's often done, if you only have a small amount of space, like a postcard, for example, the copy is often very small type. And sometimes it may look a little bit unreadable, but again, if it interests them, they'll read it. Again, this isn't a problem if you're sending out letters or on a web page, but if you have a limited amount of space, sometimes unnecessary white space can hurt you as well, because it means you have even less space to put across your selling argument. Okay, so this is a crash course in several ways you can beef up your new or existing copy to make it more responsive. And what I'm going to be talking through applies both online and offline. As I've already mentioned, it can apply to postcards, letters, classified ads, space ads in newsletters or magazines, and online, of course, web pages, emails, and anywhere else you can advertise online. In many of these examples, there won't be a massive amount happening on screen. I will use some copy examples. I'll talk you through some copy examples and construct some copy. And in most cases, I'll do this in Dreamweaver. It's what I use to create web pages, so I feel it's good enough software to use. As mentioned, many of these examples will be relevant to websites. But of course, I could just as easily create these examples in Word or even directly in emails in Microsoft Outlook, for example, so this should be fine for most of these examples. Okay, that's a quick introduction. In the videos that follow, I'll be talking you through some ways that I've used that you can use to hopefully dramatically increase the responses you get from your copy to help make your business a lot more successful and profitable.